Welcome. This is Romantic Tarot. For each zodiac sign, there is a timestamp. It's great for cross watching because there's specialty videos all within this one big video. There's always an extended. So over here, I'm going to do general messages for love and romance for each zodiac sign. And then the extended is going to include who is coming towards you or what your lover's going through, what predicaments they may be in. That is in the extended. The link is below. All right, let's start off right away with Scorpio. Scorpio, here we go. Scorpio, the messages coming through for you begin with two cards. It's interesting because, you know, the cards don't listen to me. <laughs> they, they, they take my requests, but essentially what was, what was happening, Scorpio, was I was like, I want one card, one card. Two kept coming out. So I was like, clearly I'm not in control here. Let's get to both messages. You're very close to achieving your goal. And then you've got work through your fears, your own energy. So taking in and absorbing and being ready. So combined, the message is simple. You're very, very close to being where you want to be in love. You're very, very close. Now that doesn't just mean, oh, I'm meeting a new person. No, it means I'm ready. I'm ready to be loved. Uh, I'm loving myself. I've worked through issues. I've worked through pain. It's been many, many years. Could very well have been many, many years for a few of you out there that have been struggling with allowing love into your life or with partnership. Always questioning and wondering why don't things work out for me? Or, you know, I have a partner and they stay around for a couple of years, but it doesn't go long term which isn't a bad thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. I've said it time and time again. It doesn't have to be. The benchmark of a successful relationship is not that it lasts forever. It's that it's made you happy. You feel whole when it's finished. And ultimately, it's made you a better person. It's, it's got nothing to do with did it last forever. We, we put that qualifier on too many of our relationships, Scorpio. And it's just not okay. These are all experiences that you're having coming in and out of your life. Life is, is the whole life, your whole life. It's not just, um, it's not just uh, success after success. It's, it's experience after experience. And so, um, you know, if it didn't last forever, doesn't mean it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't important. Right. But the, the message of these cards working together is you're gonna get what you want. You're you're about you're you're. In other words, I hate saying that. You're ready. You're ready. You've done the work. This is you about to receive because you're ready, right? You're very close to achieving your goal. You're there. So in hope, in faith, keep going forward and. Not just with the, oh, they keep telling me something's coming and it's not coming. That's not just how you behave. It's how a lot of people behave. It's like that energy repels love. It does not welcome it in. It's basically a message from angels saying, you're on the right track. You're doing a great job. This is whatever it is that you want in your life. It's coming towards you because you've done the work, not just because even of timing. It's that within the time allotted, you have done all the work that you need to do. You've learned the lessons. You've prepared yourself. And for, I can't ignore this. This is about allowing. This is about finally feeling ready and open to receiving the love that you want, but may not have been ready Four, there has, there's just been this sort of blockages, some sort of blockage, just not letting in that kind of love. And it may not have just been all you, whoever this was on the other side could very well have had a lot of work to do in terms of them being prepared and them being ready. And this could be somebody you don't even know because they had to prepare before the two of you could meet. So has it happened now? No, but the breakthrough is coming. 
When? I don't know. I don't know. I do do personal readings. If you want to, if you want to um, email me for one, it's bornwithoutboundaries at gmail.com. But it's not a plug for a personal reading. It's that if you're sitting there waiting for when, then you're not living in the now. And this implies that you are living in the now. This implies that your hope and your heart is open in a way that it hasn't been for a while because you're there now. You're, you're like, this is a new period of your life. It, you know, maybe you were impatient uh, and, and angry a few years ago or a few months ago. There is this sense of actually really being ready now. And what it, it in other words, being open to more than what you want, being open to what you need, being open, period. That's it. Being open to receive. You're almost there. It's, it's there. You're almost there. And so you can just forget about the wait, forget about the turnaround, forget about the anxiety because it's not your responsibility, Scorpio. It's the universe's. Give it over to the universe and just focus on what gives you joy because in terms of love and romance, this beautiful energy is on its way and it's going to find you the more peace you have in your heart. Um, you're very close to achieving your goals. Work through your fears. You're just so... You're just on such the right track for facing all of those things that created blocks in your life. Or this is your partner's energy too. Like I said, it doesn't have to be just you that's ready. It has to be them too. So this is a wonderful message of hope. It's a wonderful message of maybe it seems like dark times right now but the good times are closer than you imagine. Let's go into your next card. Be willing to express love, express, express love to receive love. Yeah, you're, you're ready. This is, this is you being ready to love again. This is a sense of you have been afraid for a very long time, or you've been afraid because of a past relationship, or there's been, or you're in a relationship right now based on fear. But your fears are dissipating. Your fears are going away. You are ready now. You've faced your fears. You've cleared out your fears. And now you're ready to be vulnerable again. Now, vulnerability is not easy for you. But you're ready. But it's, it's a requirement for real love. So you've been working really hard, Scorpio. Please keep believing in yourself because all this work is absolutely paying off. Now, who is coming towards you? That message is below. It could give us some insight as to what they're going through and maybe even maybe even the when. But um, let's see. Let's see what comes through and who's coming towards you. I'll see you in the extended. Capricorn. Let's look at two cards popped out for you as well. And though I love to do just one card, doesn't matter what I love to do. <laughs> but the cards just needed to deliver this message. Balance spirituality and practicality. This is Piscean energy and emotions are running high. So I think that there's a lot of things that you're going through right now with your partner, but it's also going through in your life. There's a lot of intensity or there's intensity that's picking up. And it's hard right now to understand it and put your finger on it or even um, be able to make it tangible because this is more of an intuitive understanding. A, a lot of things are churning. I feel like maybe something has just happened to you that has upset you or that has made you question a certain scenario between you and a certain someone. Uh, and you're wondering like, well, what's going on? You can like, there's a lot of emotions that are being exchanged between the two of you, but it's not clear as to which direction you're, you're going to be able to go. Um, 
Piscean energy is an energy of dreams. It's not a descript energy. It's not, um, a, it's not a, an articulated energy. It's amorphous. It's undefined and it's mysterious. And so I feel like there's a lot of intense energy or emotions that you're feeling for a specific person, maybe because you don't know what they feel for you, or you don't understand that if you're sure about how they feel for you, well, then why aren't they saying anything? That doesn't make any sense. Like what's going on? What's our next step? And I think you have to own that part of that is because these are very uncertain times and you may be trying to draw some certainty from a relationship with somebody else. And that's not going to really help you right now. It's putting, it's, it's putting undue um, expectations on a relationship that just needs time to work itself out. So if you step back from this relationship, if you step back from this partner and just let the mystery play out and just allow the emotions to happen, I know how intense, especially big emotions can be. You want answers. You want, you want to know what the next step is. This is not that. This is not that. This is literally something completely different. This is you giving over and just, um, hold on. This is you, you struggling for a bit and I'm, I'm not smiling because I, I'm happy that you're struggling. It's simply that that's what it is. What you can gather or take some sort of solace in is that there are intense emotions and these emotions aren't all in your head. But I think what you're trying to do is you're getting frustrated because you want something tan, you want something firm under your feet, but Pisces isn't firm, it's water. And it's not ice, right? It's water. And ice is still, still slippery. And you never know when it's gonna crack. So if that would just have been false security, but this isn't security at all. It's like you keep stepping, you keep trying to move forward, and you're like, why am I getting all wet? Why isn't there solid ground between, between, underneath my feet? Why are you expecting that from water? That's all I'm saying. You're letting your emotions go out of control and setting expectations on a, on a person or a situation that has always been a little mysterious and intangible and hard to put your finger on. So either step back, give yourself and the other person some space or find a way. And I'm not sure that this is going to work for most of you. Find a way to accept what it is for now and just let it be undefined and go on and put your mind in different places and let the universe carry it away and figure it out for you. Have faith. Isn't that perfect? And this is the energy of one plus two, three. So three is that divine energy, divine balance. Um, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Um, um, you know, male, female, and whole. Um, body, mind, and spirit. This is essentially, it's bigger than you. And you're probably getting signs and synchronicities or you will be receiving them to carry you forward one day at a time, believe them. Believe in those signs, believe in those synchronicities, believe in what you need to believe in to get to the next step and allow it to carry you to the next day. And then you can do step by step in faith. So you're not, so you're flying, right? On the wings of the butterflies, you're flying on the wings of the intangible instead of expecting there to be some firm ground under your feet, you know, this is a journey of faith. This is this may even be a test of your faith. So if you're wondering who is coming towards you, what they're experiencing, um, what they're going through, uh, when to expect them, those answers are in who's coming towards you. That link is in the description box below, and I will see you in the extended. Whew. All right, Sagittarius. 
Here we go. One of my favorite cards has popped out for you. Have faith in your dreams. I think this is a settling and an understanding. There's some sort of peace that's happening with you. You're looking toward the springtime. Now, you could be looking toward the springtime just because you want through all this chaos that's coming around. And this isn't even the good kind of chaos. This is this has been a whirlwind of a week for everybody, right? But Sagittarius, this is the energy of really making plans for the future. This is like spring wedding energy. This is, you know it's coming and you're going to plan for it even if it's not here yet. This is taking that chaos and jumping on it like it's pebble to pebble to pebble. Like it's a, um, what is it? Um, skipping, not skipping stones. Um, stepping stones. You know, like that, that, that's what it is. It's like, it's like looking toward the future as fire signs are so good at doing, knowing that the future holds something beautiful and bright and not letting any of the chaos around you get in the way of your knowledge of that. So this is the decision to have faith in somebody or in your circumstance or situation and really starting to make plans and look forward to that future together. You may not even be with this person yet. They may just be somebody that you are um, that you are admiring from afar, but at the same time, Sagittarius, you have an understanding. They're mine. I know we're going to get together. There's a hopefulness in this card. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, these cards tend to be extremely monochromatic, and yet there are a little bit of tones of yellow and green in here. You don't see that a lot in these cards. It's very special. It's almost like there's more nuances here going on than meets the eye initially. And you you are happy to be the only one who sees it right now. Or you're happy to continue your plan. That you could be just for some reason I got wedding plans from this, right? And that it, it's a sense of, well, you know what? We don't know when this this quarantine is gonna lift, but we're gonna go ahead and plan our wedding anyway, because you know what? It matters to us. And it's fun. And this is going to happen. There is a sense of hopefulness here of this is going to happen. Have faith in your dreams. You are getting through rough times by looking at your ideal, by using your ideal as the template for what is. Because what is, is what I make it. And my focus determines my reality. So I'm going to focus on the reality that I want to be living and not the reality that I am living. Okay? So this could also be being a little too idealistic for some of you. I think for most of you, this is a perfect mindset to have right now. Because you've got a very bright future in love ahead of you. Um, this could be, for some of you, lost in your dreams and not seeing what's really going on in front of you. Ah, see, not for a lot of you though, because mostly love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge all this is true. You are dripping in success. There is a bright future here. And I think it's because you're doing really well right now. Your love feels good. And your love may be uh, the energy of one plus six is seven. Seven is the energy of creation and manifestation. So you are manifesting love for yourself. And who are you manifesting? That's a good question. The answer to that is in the who's coming towards you. That link is below. And this could be yes for you, people who have partners already too. If you're, if you're wondering what your partner is feeling, what they're going through, like what their emotional construct is right now. So all those answers are below in the extended. Um, but this is really this beautiful energy of hopefulness and believing that, that and knowing, knowing that what you have in your life is beautiful and wonderful. And it could very well be that your romance is the thing that is giving you so much hope and providing so much faith right now. Now, for people who are single, this is a really good energy because it means you've got a lot of options, you know, and you know that basically you're in control of the situation. Maybe you're even deprioritizing it right now because you know you've got so much so many options surrounding you, they're going to be there. They're going to be, there. you're not really worried about it right now, but it is providing you a great deal of comfort. You could be connecting to people online. You could be flirting, just having fun. There's this energy of having fun. 
and feeling good because of your relationship with love. Whatever that relationship may be, whether it's being in love, looking for love, or just feeling really freaking lovable. It's helping you make your life better. Nice, Sag. Nice. Okay. I'll see you in the extended. Aquarius. Let's get into your energy. Remember, there's always an extended. That link is below. If you want to know who is coming towards you, what your partner's going through, that kind of information is in the extended below. All right, Aquarius. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Um, you figured something out and you're able to move forward. And you're able to see the future and make plans for it. Why? Because the worst is behind you. So this is about a circumstance or a situation that, listen, it could be something you and your partner are going through together. Right? This could, this could be, uh, this could be mortgage not paid or business in, in trouble. Whatever pressure has been put on your relationship, Aquarius, um, this is, it's coming to an end. You know, your, your work, the work that you've done is getting you somewhere. And so this could be actually breaking through to somebody or making a breakthrough in relationships, in love. In other words, this could be for singles who have been working on themselves, working to push through walls or barriers or fears that they've had. Whatever it is in terms of your relationship with love itself and romance itself for welcoming in those feelings, Aquarius, you're bursting through if you've been doing the hard work. Now, for those of you who have not been doing the hard work, Aquarius, don't expect anything to change. But I think that, that who I'm talking to are the people who have been busting butt and getting the groove on and, 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 and churning those wheels, like turning them, turning them, burning them. You're making breakthroughs, Aquarius. Making breakthroughs in terms of difficulties that you and your partner have had together understanding something finally it's not just about knowing or information spying no it's about getting it it's about understanding oh so this think of the capricorn energy oh this is our problem okay now i can see the problem and i can figure out what to do about it that's what the energy is you're not even letting it get to you personally or letting it offend you or hurt you or harm you you're simply taking the information and using it to your advantage to be able to move forward. That could be learning what your lover likes. You want them? Go get them. You know what I'm saying? You could have been courting somebody for quite some time. And you're going to have a major breakthrough with that person. Because you put the time and energy into understanding where they're going to be. What they like. How to get their attention. It's paying off. It's working. Your hard work. On love, in love, is paying off. What's this card? Physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. Ooh. Um, see, this is a, a major breakthrough, Aquarius. This is either allowing somebody to touch you or finally being able to touch somebody that was stone cold. This is literally ramming yourself through their barriers and breathing life into the situation. And all of these energies could be uh, in reverse. So it could be somebody finally making a breakthrough to you too. Finally, somebody being able to get through to you. You finally being able to open up and love somebody because their touch meant so much. And it's like, finally, they and kissed you and grabbed you and, and like kissed you and it's like wrapped themselves around you when that's all you wanted to begin with. There's something about physical touch here that burst through and that heated up the situation, but it's also about making the untangible, making what seemed to be, because she was stone, right? What seemed to be stone, what seemed to be the end of the road, what seemed to be the mountain precipice, you turned all Capricornian energy, and guess what? Goats can climb up, like, like literally, like, like just flat surfaces. I've seen them climb up dams. I've seen like this natural, ge National Geographic um, um, 
uh, or BBC episode of just these, these freaking goats. They can just literally climb up completely flat surf, not flat surfaces. They have footholds, but it's like, you have found a way to do the impossible and break through stone. There was a block, definitely, Aquarius. Either it was coming from you, it was coming from the other person. So either they broke through to you or you broke through, through, through to them. But there is definitely a breakthrough here because you did not give up or they didn't give up. If this, is, if this is their energy, this is they did not give up on you and they just keep pounding away in, in order to make that breakthrough, make the cracks in that wall, and finally they're getting through that wall. They're not going to give up. That's the message. Or you're not going to give up. You can reverse these messages. Now, if you want to know for sure who's coming towards you, what they're going through, that is in the link below. Please do hop on over to the extended. But overall, this is no, someone's didn't give up here. And it's not don't give up. It's because you didn't give up, a breakthrough is happening. You've literally turned stone into this malleable, soft, tangible, touchable, warm energy. You've, you've like, you've done the impossible. You've done the impossible, Aquarius. I will see you guys in the extended. Okay, Pisces. Ooh, what is the energy coming through for you? Hold on, I'm sorry. Nothing is yet set in stone. You're thinking. You're thinking. Either your plans are still being made or you haven't been able to similar to um the similar to the message that I gave to Capricorns it's that it's water you're dealing with water you're dealing some, with something that's fluid you haven't been able to step on it stand on it it's not stone it's water it's still malleable so whatever you're dealing with in love whether it be do they love me do I love them you know, or whether it be, you know, where are we going to plan our honeymoon? You're not really able to make those decisions right now. You're in an in-between period. Things are ebbing and flowing. And essentially this card has come to you to say, don't try to make decisions now. This is not the decision time. This is the enjoy the waves. Go with the flow. If you try to resist, you're going to get seasick. There is no way out of this ebb and flow. So just go with it. Become the water Pisces. It's what you are. And trust it. Allow yourself to be lost in the romance of the moment. And make it work for you by letting yourself get lost in it. You don't have to make any decisions now. Now this could very well be the partner that you're dealing with. They don't want to make decisions now. That's not personal. That's universal. Trust in it. And just go back to your fantasies. Go back to being lost in your world. Allow yourself to just in, indulge in the not knowing. Indulge in the ambiguity. Not having to put any expectations. This could be an extremely liberating energy for you. Because this is a moment when you don't have to put any expectations on. This could be the most joyous, happiest time in your relationship because you're not sitting there. What am I to him? What am I to her? Who is she to me? What is this? Like labels and titles and commitments and expectations. This is not that time. This is the shh, done. Just let it be. Just let it be exactly what it is, even if it's nothing. Even if you're totally single and there's not a prospect on the horizon, let it be. Because it's not about you. It's about what's going on cosmically. And it's just going to ebb and flow. And if you let go, you'll be brought to where you're supposed to be. You will reach it. Right now, it's it, how will you reach it? About surrendering, surrendering yourself to the not even thinking about it. This is really the energy of being caught in an ambiguous situation. 
And there's really not much you can do except to just go along with it. I have Aquarian energy that I'm looking at here. But if you want to know who's coming towards you, that information is below, including what your partner going through and what they could be feeling or who they could be. If you're looking for somebody new, I hope to see you over in the extended. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. So I really do feel like this is the impossible. This is the unicorn. This is a situation that you maybe, maybe never thought that you would ever experience. That you are with somebody so special or that you're in such a special moment with love where you are honestly free. Where it's honestly like a fantasy for you. It's such a beautiful time either because you don't care about it at all or because you have so many options or because you just found out the person you like likes you or because the person that you're with, it, they just get more special every day. This is a sense of I'm not wanting to look in the future and I don't want to look back. I really like now because that's that air energy right now. I really like what's happening now. Let it be undecided. Let it continue to be ambiguous. I can go with this. I'm good because from my perspective, I feel like I'm living in a dream. You know, you can, yeah, I'm just going to stop there. Let's go into who's coming towards you because that could be an interesting, that could be an interesting conversation. Um, that link is below, Pisces. I'll see you there. Aries, what energy is coming toward you in love and romance? Remember, there's always an additional uh, love and romance reading that is in the extended for the weekly Zodiac readings as well. Just an FYI, and they're on the same page here. Aries, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. There is a, there's a, a situation that's confusing you. A situation that's causing calling you deeper inside of yourself um not to withdraw from the other person but to take your space and to stop giving your energy away and to allow yourself to give to yourself first because there is a circling a circling do you love me do you want me do you not what's going on and it's really making you feel like you're on a bad merry-go-round ride so what do you do? You contemplate and you meditate and you try to just give your energy back to yourself instead of giving it away to somebody else. This is the energy of they're going to be confusing right now. Let them be confusing right now. Let them be. Of feeling like you're lost in, amb in an ambiguous situation with somebody. Do they want me? Being stuck in a situation where there is no answer. There is no yes. There is no no. There's just confusion. What do you feel? It could be upsetting you a great deal, Aries. So this is an energy that you are to making a decision to just, I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to make a decision to let my world be. I'm not disconnecting from you. But in order for me to give you, in order for me to not lose it, I have to give my energy to me. And to be honest with you, Aries, that's the best place to put your energy right now. Because it almost feels like you'd be throwing it away into a black hole if you didn't. So think and feel and calm yourself and think, what is it that I feel? Because I think that in some ways you're getting lost in their feelings. And you're letting their feelings affect you emotionally, which of course makes sense, right? Especially if they're your lover or your long term. This is a sense of allowing the unanswered to be acceptable. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, for now, deciding that the, the unanswerable has to be what's okay. You don't like it. You don't like this feeling. But what's your response to it? Do you know? I don't think you do. This is the energy of looking for the answer. And instead of being reactionary, being calmer, intentionally so, since your energy would suggest that you don't do that, right? You're like, no, no, no. 
I need to maybe not come at this at all. Maybe let them come to me. Let them come to me. And in, until that time, I'm going to be over here contemplating, meditating, trying to understand where I am in all of this and making sure that I don't get lost in the same confusion. I know what I want. I know who I am. I've been very clear and now it's their turn. Act as if your partner is here. Energy of 10. So there is something that's coming to a conclusion or a finality. Um, so they're figuring themselves out. You could be at a distance from each other because this is usually my long distance card and energy of um, not being with the person that you want to be with, but still acting as it, like expecting them to act like they're in a relationship, even if you're right not, not right near them, right? And vice versa. So this is a sense of um, my partner, my partner isn't with me right now, or you might not have a partner yet. You're still single. So this is the energy of um, behaving like you're in a relationship, even if your partner isn't tangibly, physically with you. Committing yourself. Like I said, you're not giving up. They're, they're away right now. They may be hard to reach right now. You may not be able to be physically with them right now. Or there may be an emotional distance between you and you're living in the same house. But this is you going on and making decisions. I'm going to respect them. I'm going to continue to honor them. I'm going to continue to love them. Or if you're totally single, I'm going to continue to behave as if I know they're coming into my life. It's a, it's a mind over matter decision. It's like, I don't want to get lost into some crazy emotions. I want to receive the energy of somebody else's positive emotions. And the only way that I do that is I make sure that I'm in that state of mind myself first. And so that's what you're doing. You're taking the bull by the horn by allowing yourself to be very passive and very patient, but you're active in that patience. You're active in the understanding that love is not something that I can control, like my business partnerships or um, even to some degrees, my friendship. It's not something that I can steamroll after that doesn't work for me. It's you being like, I don't, I don't want the partner that I have to steamroll anyway. I want the part partner who's going to come to me, who's going to be with me even when we can't be together. I want that, that real commitment coming in. I'm ready to receive love. And so I have to allow myself to receive love. I have to allow myself to be in the mindset that this is my partner. I love them. And when they're ready, they'll come to me. This is my future. I'm meant to be in a relationship and I'm, I'm wide open, welcoming in the new relationship that's coming to me. That's the energy. Being open emotionally, being balanced enough to just accept the future. Like to welcome in, like to just like, um, what is it? No, maybe not. Maybe it's not even acceptance. Maybe it's just allowance, allowing. And that's what you're prepping yourself for. You you basically decided to get rid of all the negative thoughts. It's never going to happen. It never works out. They cheat on me. What are they doing? Why haven't they called? It's like I feel your energy of just I can't be in there anymore. I can't do that anymore. It's driving me nuts, and I deserve to be happy. And so I'm going to be happy and it's not going to be based on their behavior. When they're ready to add to my happiness, they're welcome in. And I love that energy for you. Please join me for who is coming towards you. If you're wondering what's up with them, it's a, it's a good reading to have. That link is below Aries. I'll see you over there. Okay. Taurus. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. This is beautiful, loving energy. It's a balancing out of equals. It's two people making a decision to make equal contributions in love, or it's deciding that you're looking for an equal and you're not going to settle for less. Either way, Taurus, this is the value is the same on both sides. You're finding that evenness and that balance. You're trusting yourself. You're trusting the circumstance and the situation, and you're trusting in 
another person, but this is, they deserve your trust. You could be dealing with a Libra. This is definitely a lot more Venetian energy um, because Libra is ruled by Venus and so are you. Understand also, I'm not sure, hold on. Because I know the moon, yeah, the moon. Okay, the moon is in Taurus as I'm doing this video because it goes into Gemini at like nine something tonight. But this is also standing or starting this energy on a very strong footing of just believing in the positivity and the possibility. Um, I like this energy because it is li like living in balance or your love life and your romantic life being what is adding to the balance in your life. So really being with a strong partner, a partner who really loves you, cares about you, um, helps you put your life into balance and, and make you see things in a beautiful way because they make your life something better. This is about um, an energy of, of being ready to meet somebody, being uh, ready to um, give and receive. Okay, because that's the only way the scales stay in balance is the give and the take. So this is a very clear understanding, not of who you want to be with, but who you are right now, what you need right now, what you really want right now, having gotten to a place where you're really being honest with yourself. And you can be really honest with your potential partners or you are being honest with your potential partners because you're already with somebody. Hold on. So... There's a lovely sense of happiness in your romantic life right now. Or let's let's go back. There's a lovely sense of making your partner making your partner commit to okay, making your partner contribute the what you contribute. Like making your partner be an equal partner. Because there could have been some conflicts, right? Um, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Uh, and then relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. There, 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 there could very well have been some... These cards suggest that there were some there was some issues in your relationship. There were some issues that were going on or there were some issues that were going on generally in the family at large and they were affecting impacting your relationship just because and then you're realizing just because it's it's inevitable because emotions fly fast and they fly hard and they tend to hit windows. So this is the energy of realizing it, recognizing it, learning it, understanding it, seeing, oh my God, it may be happening again. Am I taking my emotions? Are they taking their emotions out on me? Am I taking my emotions out on them? It's like deciding you're going to, you're going to be an equal to me and I'm going to be an equal to you. We're going to talk about this. We're going to work through it and finding a way to work through it. This is the light at the end of the tunnel because of give and take. And acceptance of what's been really happening. Um, you could have been feeling like you've been doing too much. Or questioning, is this the right partnership for me? I honestly feel like you guys just sort of like blurted out or they blurted out to you. You need to, you need to clean up around here or you need, you need, you need to contribute around here. Or why am I doing all the work? Why is there, what, what, why is there no receive on the other end? And that takes in account of, have you been doing everything? Have you been doing too much? Have you given up faith in them to even contribute to the point where you stopped asking and you just started taking care of everything, getting sadder and sadder or more and more bitter. And now it's like, I'm done. No, 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 done. Why do I always do that until things break? And maybe things were on the verge of breaking. And realizing your part in that. Because if you had just spoken up beforehand and said, I need this from you, it wouldn't have gotten that far or vice versa. But this is the energy of finally recognizing what do I do to contribute to whatever struggle or strife has been going on? 
What am I doing to make sure the doing or not doing to make sure these scales stay in balance? You know, it's like what, maybe I've been taking too much responsibility to keep them in balance. Maybe, maybe I've been giving too much and that's why I'm so overworked and I don't feel good and I'm and I and I want out. I feel better when I'm out of the house than when I'm in the house. So this is the energy of we need to get on the same page here. And the good news of you are getting on the same page. There is a balancing out and an evening out. And maybe, I mean, we're stuck with each other big time now, you know? Are you, are, do you get into relationships where you rely, Taurus, on the other person being gone? So that basically you can have your way or organize your house the way you want. And then your partner comes back and then it's all of a sudden like, why is there so much conflict? Because you get yourself into relationships that depend on the person being away from you. Or whatever it is that it sort of depends on those scales just being something you're balancing out yourself. But when it comes to working with your partner, do you know how to work with your partner? Do you know how to allow them to contribute and allow your, yourself to re receive their, their contributions instead of sort of pushing them out of it or getting upset because you, you'd rather be in control of everything? Or maybe you're in a relationship with somebody who is very controlling and they kind of like push you out of it. And it's just like, well, then what are we both giving? Is this a give and take here? It's recognizing what's happening, recognizing your part in what's happening and insisting on change. And you're feeling this sense of balancing out. So this is a really lovely energy in terms of emotionally to come off of these two cards coming out together because it's a recognition of what's breaking things and then a contribution to healing them. Who is coming towards you? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? What is your partner doing? That link is below in who's coming towards you and I look forward to seeing you over in the extended. Gemini, what is coming towards you in terms of love and romance for this week? It's time to take action if you're ready to receive. And it's almost like I feel like you're ready to jump back into action. I've been getting this reading for you for a while now, Gemini, where it's like it's time. I, I swear to God, I've been doing so many shuffles for you guys. If you check out your extendeds, your weekly extendeds, you'll know it. There's been so many shuffles where it was hard to get any romance cards to come out at all. And it felt like it was just because romance has got to be on the back burner. Because there's other stuff that I need to do. They've been coming out a lot easier. They've been coming out a, a lot, like a lot, many more cards have been coming out. So it's a sense of I'm ready to move forward. Now I'm ready to go. Maybe I've even seen something that I like, something that I want, something that interests me. Or you're ready to take the next step in your relationship. Either way, this action, this this push of energy is going to help you receive what it is you want. It's almost like you're asking for what you want. You're moving forward. You're taking this very Aries energy of, I can do it. You got a lot of confidence. You're feeling really good about yourself. Maybe you're feeling really good about your um, partner. It's almost this energy of, I can't fail. Because you're so ready. Because the moment is so right for you. Willing to take those steps forward. Finally being able to trust again or be in the emotional place of, yeah, no, I'm, I'm ready for some action. It could just be fast action, fun, good times. You may not be expecting much of this, but that's not, that's not as important as the fact that you're ready to take a chance on anything. That it's like, you know, you, you, you've got your mojo back, kind of. Like that's, that's that energy. I, I got my mojo back. I'm ready. I know what I want. I'm, I know what I want. Um, rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. This is four plus two energy of six. Um, this is feeling whole, feeling healed, feeling protected and feeling confident and feeling safe. It's, it's about feeling safe again. You know, no, it's, it's like, it's like, I don't know if somebody's got your back or somebody's made you feel safe. If you're curious about the other person or who's coming towards you, that link is below. 
please join me over for the ex over there for the extended because that will reveal some more information on that. But but Aries energy is is confidence. It's certainty. It's certainty of oneself. It's also telling me that you healed yourself, Gemini. There's been a great deal of self love and concern taking time out to get back to that point allowing yourself like not pushing yourself and now you're ready to push because you didn't push or being ready to push yourself out of whatever break you've been in now you're ready to wake up come out of slumber get back into the dating scene Find more people, talk to more people, pursue somebody. You could be dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with an Aries. They would be very different approaches, right? Right? Um, either way, you're ready. You're prepared. And there's a feeling here of knowing what you want, taking aim, of being certain now, not only that you're ready, but knowing what you're ready to be ready for. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like what you're ready to be with, who you're ready to be with. There is an aim here. There is a target here, an interest, an interest. Or if you're already with somebody, this is a sense of enabling their ability to feel safe around you because they know that you've got their back or you know that they've got yours a sense of feeling so safe around somebody you could fall asleep and know that you're still good. Like, I think it took you a long time to get back here, to be honest with you. Somebody that you would want to move forward with. Because there's been a lot of backstabbing and a lot of people that basically just raked you across the coals when things didn't work out for them. And I got to say, I mean, you were not, you were not okay with that energy. And it, it really kind of raked you across the goals and made you question yourself or question a few things about, about people or about the decisions that you're making. And you, you needed time. You needed time to heal and you're giving yourself that time. You've given yourself that time. And what I think now is happening is this beautiful energy of, I don't need more time. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to receive. We just, we just went through an Aries new moon. I'll attach that link above for you guys um, so that you can watch the energy and what the energy of the um, that that new moon was going to the Aries new moon was going to do for you you know what it was going to bring into your life um, that energy I'll, ta I'll yeah I'll tag it above because that could really help you guys right now understand why or um, Why you're feeling so confident? Why, like, like, maybe you don't even need to know why. What's ahead? Why it's all over with and you don't have to look back? Why you can feel so good right now? It's got to do with the person that's coming towards you too. It's got to do with, I think, from, from the vibes that I've been picking up, changing who you want to be with a change in what attracts your interest to somebody maybe less exciting and more in other words their excitement is about what they'll go out and get for you how they'll make you feel safe and how they'll defend you not how like like how much they pursue you or how passionate their pursuit is you don't want to feel like prey anymore. You want to feel protected. And this is somebody who will protect you, who will make sure that you can sleep safe at night and you can trust them. So this, the excitement in this person, the excitement in this person is how strongly and passionately they protect you and guard you. I'll see you guys over in the extended. Cancer. Let's see what romance, love, energies are coming toward you this week. Of course, there's always an extended if you want to know who's coming toward you or what your partner's going through, what they're feeling, what's going on. That link is below. I'll see you guys over there. Cancer, your commitment is being tested. <laughs> oh, there's only, don't we love to see it? How commit, how, how, do you really want it? 
How badly do you really want it? Or yeah, you're going through something right now. Like there, there is something that is not just like testing, uh, 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 emotionally concerning to you, making you feel bad. This is your commitment between the two of you is strained. This is the journey, man. Do you see? It's like my little jolly old elf. You see the negative space is like a little elf carrying a knapsack, wandering almost like the hermit. Either you've got to have faith in this situation, this circumstance, or you can almost feel inside of you, even though you probably have not completely emotionally accepted it yet, Cancer, this person wants to leave you. Or you want to leave them, and that's okay too. But in a true Cancerian fashion, you would instead hold on, hold on, hold on, and try to make them leave or walk away from you, all the while desperately begging them to stay, not really wanting them to leave, but simultaneously somewhere hidden deep down inside of you wanting this to be over because it's 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 not what you wanted either either way your relationship is on the rocks when this card comes out now if you're in the happiest relationship of your life i doubt very much that you're even bothering most most people in extremely happy relationships do not listen to these love and romance advice they don't need it they love, they're in love, <laughs> they're doing good. <laughs> this is, there is something going on in your relationship that is straining it, that's making it difficult. Now, because this is a journeyman wandering, one or two of you could be traveling. And that's what's causing the strain on your relationship is the distance and separation because trust and not seeing each other and obligations or uh, obligations to work or whatever getting in getting in your way and then you're forgetting how much you love each other because you're doubting each other and it's like hey you know what you can't just love each other or have faith in each other when you when you're in the same room with each other it's got to be unconditional and the unconditional you're having a problem with or they're having a problem both both of you are having a problem with it's 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 understand it's all of a sudden it 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 becoming very clear to you that this love wasn't unconditional. It was very conditional, conditional upon times being good, things being fun, things being playful, happy, easy. And the going has just gotten tough. And suddenly it's like, do I even know this person? What is this relationship? Well, you really get to know somebody when you go through something, you know, and this, that's, this is that. This is, this is that, that moment of seeing somebody for who they really are or vice versa because of, I think, outside pressures being put on you. It's not necessarily something that somebody is doing inside the relationship, but the way that you're dealing with it, the way that they're dealing with the stress and the strain is like breaking you, breaking you up wandering and journeying apart from each other seeing what they're like in stressful situations and not liking it or it's not even not liking it or them it's questioning the validity of the commitment itself because it's stressful now because it's not easy now you could be up against this or it could be happening in you inside of you yourself. Either way, what used to be full is now dwindled. It's, 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 it's teetered out a little bit. The question is, can you get it back? Well, listen with your heart. This is the advice. So there is a chance to rekindle and to actually make your relationship stronger. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. What are they really saying when they talk to you? Cancerians, this is our realm. We can hear the unsaid. So what is it? We can pick up on total strangers' feelings. Instead, we end up saying them ourselves. So how about this? Listen to your partner and then speak out loud. What is it that you are driven to say? Because what you're driven to say is what they want to say. 
what you're driven to say, you know that we're always driven to say what's going to make them happy. So analyze what you're driven to say. That's what they really want to hear. Think about what do they really want to hear? Why do they really want to hear that? What are they scared of? What are they worried about? Or do they not feel the same way they used to feel for us? But we need to hear what's really going on, not what we want to hear or will allow ourselves to hear. This is a time for honesty, acceptance, and truth. And unconditional love goes as far as, if you don't want to be with me anymore, I let you go in peace. What are you worried about? What's scaring you? Or what are you not saying to me that you really want to say with me, to say to me? We got to hear it. And I feel like we know, especially if they're thinking about leaving us. You already know it. You already know that they don't want to stay. So it's about time to really hear it. Now it is okay to respect yourself enough to say, you know what? You, you need to say this to me. I'm not going to do this work for you. If you don't want to be with me anymore, then you need to tell me that. Because it's not my responsibility to break up with me for you. Okay? Cancerians, don't take that on yourself. Don't get into one of these conversations where I know what you're feeling, so I'll do it for you. No. Be open and willing to listen, but they're not allowed to speak in code. They need to speak plainly. What do you want? Remember that, that scene from, the, note, from no, the notebook? What do you want? He's like shaking her. You can figure it out. It's not my job to tell you what it is you want or for me to psychically say it, it, it intuit it for you and then say it for you. I'm, it's like, I'll tell you right now, but by, by these two cards, I can tell you right now, you already know what they're feeling. So some of you are in denial or some of you are like basically being what I was just being really stubborn and saying, you're going to have to tell me. I'm not going to break up with me for you. That's a bunch of BS. Like, oh, I'm getting the hints. And it's almost like you're losing interest in them because of their passive aggressive way of dealing with things. And cancer, I hate to break it to you, but this is what we do to most people. This is why they break up with us because it's like almost like, not to say that you deserve it because you maybe would have, maybe you were wonderful in this relationship, but this is what we end up doing to other people. Like this is why they want to break up with us because we're always expecting them to just basically make a decision for us so that we don't have to make the hard choice. And it's almost like you're dealing with that right now. You could be dealing with another Cancerian. If not, you're dealing with somebody like this or a sense of this person isn't even listening to you anymore. They're, they're not in tune with you. They've basically taken, they've taken a break and they've moved on without letting you know Emotionally, they've checked out without coming to you and letting you know it. That's what it is. So who are they? What's their journey? And maybe what's on the other side? What is the new person? There might be a new person coming in. This could be, hey, have faith. This could be a sense of, you know that something's coming in, Cancerians. Why are you worried? What's there to worry about? You can feel them. You know they're on the horizon. Listen to all the signs and synchronicities with an open heart and just continue on your journey. You don't have to question it, even if it's ambiguous right now. There's no need to question. But essentially what this comes down to for all of you guys, all of us, because I'm a, I'm a triple Cancerian, all of us is believe your intuition. Trust it, don't doubt it, and certainly... Don't try to argue it, argue with it, or argue it away. You are already right, and now it's just got to play out. I'll see you guys over in the extended. Leo. All right, Leo, let's see. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. There's a little bit of confusion here. 
you may be dealing with a Taurus. If you want to know who you're dealing with or who's coming towards you, that is in the description. That link to the extended is in the description box below. I would love to have you over there. But this is right now you stepping back and saying, what's real? What's really going on here? Let me bring it into the tangible. Let me lay it on the table. Let me be honest with it and figure out how to move on from here. I'm not dealing in dreams anymore. I'm not dealing in suppositions. I'm going to deal with what's right in front of me. It could also be somebody that's kind of pushing at you. I want to plan. I want to plan. I want to plan. I want to know, are we moving forward? Are we moving forward? Like it's, it's almost like a push to figure out what the next step is. It could be coming internally or it could be coming externally. Now, the full moon energy uh, to me speaks to releasing, wanting to, wanting to let it go, wanting to, wanting to not necessarily let the person go, but the confusion or the conflict, wanting to, it, 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 it coming to an end. And that in and of itself could be the push that is behind this all of just, oh, 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 I got, I got to move past this. I got to get, I got to get out. I got to get, get out of this, move past it, push past it, see what's going, what's my next move. Make the decision. And I do feel like it has a little bit to do with the emotional discomfort, knowing that there's an issue and wanting to solve it. Get to the heart of it, work it out, figure it out. I need to know what my next step is. I also need to know all the information that I need to know in order to take that next step. But I'm, I'm ready to take action. This is an actionable energy. And Leo, this is your circumstance right now. You, you would be the driving force behind it. Or like I said, this could be somebody trying to bully you into a circumstance that you're not ready to deal with right now. And you know, the thing is you guys are not easily bullied. So if you don't want something, you don't want it. Unless of course, this is somebody that you actually really love. And then you're like, well, how do I not want it, but also not lose them? could be a little bit of, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. How the heck do I get out of this? <clears throat> the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. This is a cup of love. The ace of cups, happiness, abundance, prosperity, joy. There's so much that you have if you're in a long-term relationship. There's so much that you have between this, you and this person that giving up on it is not your option. But where do we go from here? It could be you and your spouse trying to work out what is our next step. This is a time in our life when everything's shifting and changing. And it, the, the, the Taurus energy tells me it's 3D questions, not so much emotional, but 3D questions of what's our next step? Where, what is our next level in this relationship? What's our next adventure together? Let's figure it out. Actually sitting down, assessing, planning, putting down down payments, that kind of energy of just let's get to the practicalities of this. Realizing your, your, the abundance that you have in your life, all the good stuff, all the stuff that you want to keep and all the stuff that you want to get rid of and where you're moving next. But this suggests, this, this card suggests that you're doing it in love. You're happy to build and move forward with somebody. You have somebody in your life that you can do this with, but it does, it does sort of take this grounding energy of let's get out of the dreams. Let's get out of the ideals and let's figure out what's real. Can we afford this? Now, if you're just beginning a relationship with somebody or you're totally single, that's different. What do I really want? Do I really want this person? 
If they're pushing me, is there enough there? Like really? This would suggest there is. This would suggest, I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign. We'll figure that out in the extended. But this is a sense of there's a lot of potential here. But where is our next step? Where are we going? Well, this is that energy. I want to figure it out. Because there is a lot of potential here. Maybe I got so many options. I don't know what to do with it. I got to figure out who do I want to be with? But it's, it would be, it would be, you're definitely deciding. And this is the key to this energy. You're deciding that you need to decide. Because you could have been in a place beforehand that you were just like, I'm happy playing the game or I'm happy with the ambiguity. I don't want to make any choices right now. Let's put all the stuff on the table and then figure it out later. Now you're at a point where stuff's on the table. Shit's got to be decided. You're making that decision or somebody else is making you make that decision. And I can tell you right now, the only time you're tolerating somebody else making you make that decision is if you're actually in a long-term relationship and you love them. Dealing, if you're dealing with somebody that shows you great loyalty and great respect and they're, they're, they've just basically, like in your last video, if you want to go watch it, they've changed your world. You'd be like, all right, you're right. I need to get my shit together. I, I need to make some decisions. <laughs> we really do need to make some decisions. Let's do it now. Because I feel like if somebody's pushing you now, now, figure out, decide, do you want to be with me? You're going to be like, you know what? I thought we had a lot of potential until you started pushing me. And now I'm pretty much not really into it. That kind of energy of like, don't push Leo too hard or Leo's going Leo's, Leo's to bite back. That kind of energy. I don't know if somebody is pushing you, but if you're tolerating it, I can tell you right now, if you're tolerating them pushing you, it's because you love them. I mean, say yes to them right now. Because if you like being being pushed by this person, then you really like this person. You trust them. So there's your answer. Who are they? Let's see. I'll see you guys in the extended. Virgo. This is the energy that you're dealing with. Believe in the impossible. And every time I show this card, I want to know what you see. Do you see a bubble popping or do you see it rising? Because that automatically is going to tell me pessimistic, optimistic. Like, how are you feeling? What's going on? So Virgo, is it rising to the top? Is it giving you hope? Is it a new light? Is it shining in the darkness? Is it pointing in the direction? Is it going up? Or is it about to fall down? Pop. On that treetop. Either way, this is, I never thought this could happen. What did you never think could happen? Because that's happening. It's, it's coming. It's, it's real. Did you think that could never love you? you? You never find somebody who would love you? You never find somebody again? You never get over your ex? What did you think was impossible? Or are you looking back and realizing, hey, you know what? We defied the odds. We already, we already achieved the impossible. But this is, this is the energy of making it happen. It's happening. For better or worse, the impossible is happening. Let's, let's go to the good side. Let's, let's, the, the bubble is rising, right? Yeah, it's real, man. This is, this is official. Official. You can tell your mom and dad, bring them home to mama. That's the energy. He, or, or you just met his parents. You know, or, oh, this is a big old bobble. This is a big old diamond ring. Because guess what? I just got engaged. Hi. What is the, what, what did you, what were you guys going through? Struggling? Dealing with each other? Maybe you thought you could never tolerate his BS while you were stuck in quarantine with him. You didn't kill him. That seemed impossible. <laughs> you know, that kind of energy. <laughs> it's not impossible. You got through it. You, it's, it's good. It's on the up and up. You're on the rise. The world is looking good. Maybe it's this opti optimistic perspective I never thought was possible. But I'm feeling so good. This person's so wonderful, they've made me an optimist. 
<laughs> you know, they, they've made me feel like, yeah, life is going to be okay. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. I love this. This is, this is happy energy. This is joyful energy. The art of the impossible is happening. Believe in it. This energy is more the optimistic than the, pe the pessimistic. It really is because believe in the impossible is encouraging you to allow yourself to be vulnerable to the, to the, to the belief in the ideal situation, the ideal circumstance. And this is you, Virgo. You're, you're allowed to do it now. You're allowed to trust this. You're still worried. I know you are. You're still worried about, oh, I got to protect it though. It's okay. It's okay. Protect the little bubble as it goes up. Eventually, it's just going to expand right? Everything grows. Everything keeps developing. Everything, you know, as it go, rises, it also leaves. It gets further and further away. But that's just the life cycle. So no need to worry. I know who I'm talking to, but appreciate this moment. 33, the energy of three plus three, six. This is really the energy of just feeling whole and complete. Almost like seeing things objectively, almost looking outside of yourself and being like, wow, I can't believe that's my life. Let this moment really just sit in that moment for a second, Virgo. You know, because I think a lot of times we worry about the worst case scenario. We let the worst case scenario be what is on the tip of our minds and you need the vacation, you need the break. Take a step away, take a step back, look. See that things are really going good. Allow yourself that break, that emotional separation just to enjoy yourself, right? Maybe you need a break or a step away anyway. Just, just for a little breather, that's okay too. This is using my energy of, um, well, manifesting something that had been far away, manifesting it, or looking at something far away. It could be stalker energy too. <laughs> looking at somebody, looking at somebody in the impossible. Well, no, they're dating that person? What are you talking about? What do you mean they're dating? They're, they're not single anymore. Or, or, oh, they want me? They just left a, a comment on my profile? It, this is, it could be the energy of looking. Looking still, safely, far away to see what's going on and getting some news that shocks you. Good or bad shock, not really sure. Who's coming towards you? We'll figure that out in the extended. That link is below. But this is definitely being able to distance yourself to see the circumstance or situation clearly. To help yourself feel better about the situation. And I really do believe things are on the up and up. Things are okay. But if that's not what's happening... It's almost like you're getting news, like on the, on the downside, it could be that you're getting news from far away or that you're seeing something on the internet or realizing something that you didn't realize before and it's making you really afraid. Like you didn't think that was possible. It couldn't happen. And, and yet you're, it's, you're seeing it with your own eyes and it's, it's almost like an out-of-body experience. No, this can't be happening. This isn't true. But it's there. It's right in front of you. So what this is asking you to believe, whichever, and I think it's a, it would be a very small proportion of um, Virgos that are experiencing the downside. I think most of this is upside. But what these cards are asking you to do is be objective. Take a step back and in order to believe because you're almost a little bit too worried to believe, allow yourself to believe that this, this circumstance is really real, but it is, it's a real situation. And for most of you, it's a beautiful situation. Ironically, those can be harder to digest than the bad stuff. Because we're just so used to dealing with the bad stuff or, or we feel more protected or guarded dealing with the bad stuff. Because if we always expect it, then it doesn't hurt us through shocking us too. But you know what? Look at it objectively. And I think you'll see just how safe and beautiful the situation really is. I'll see you guys in the extended. Libra, 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 Libra. Conclusions are within reach. 
This is a lovely card, especially if there's been ambiguity or indecision, indecisiveness, not understanding what's going on, what's happening. What is happening? You've been asking the questions, the answers haven't been coming. You've been getting piece after piece to the puzzle, you've been getting information, but you haven't really been getting tangible answers. Or everything that's been adding up hasn't really added up to something whole yet, guess what? The whole is here. The completion is here. You're about to get the full answer. You're about to see the full picture. You're about to maybe come to a conclusion yourself. Make a decision. Is it yes? Is it no? Do I stay? Do I go? Is this working? Is it not working? Do we buy the new house? Don't we? Your answers are right around the corner. I, I get with this energy a little bit of, I need to know more. Maybe even disbelief, like I don't, I don't want to believe the worst, so let me, let me wait to see. Or do they, do they really feel that way about me? I don't know. Do they, they're not letting me know. You're about to know. You're about to know, Libra, what you want to know. Are they still dating the other person? Can we make this marriage work? You're about to know what you want to know. And you've been looking for these answers. This isn't all of a sudden something that's just happened upon you, a new question in your mind. That's not what's going on. Libra, this is the energy of you're finally being able to figure out or make an answer on something that you've been working on. It's been affecting you for a while now. This could also be the energy of you're breaking up, it's done, the relationship's over. But not necessarily. Because a conclusion may be we belong together. A conclusion may be this crap can't get to us. What were we doing? Let, letting it muck up our, our life. You know? So, so ask yourself, what have you been asking? Because like I said, this isn't some random question. This is something that you've been asking all along. You're about to get those answers. Whew, that's good news. It's good news either way. Now look at this card that just flipped up, baby. New love. What that card tells me, this combined energy, is that at least for most of you, do they like me? Do they want me? Are they interested? When is it coming? When is my person coming? Yes, they do like you. Yes, they do want you. Your person's about to fall into your hands unexpectedly like a shooting star, a star, a star that shoots across the sky. It's about to just wind up in your hands. You've been sitting there with your hands out waiting. Guess what? It's about to fall right in. You don't have to worry about it anymore. When you least expect it, and you've been expecting it the whole time, and that's what makes it the situation that you least expect. Because you've been sitting here asking the question, and every time you've asked the question, every time you've wondered, or every time you've hoped and put your heart out there, nothing has come. So you expect more of the same. Nope. You're about to get it. It's about to fall into you. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. It's coming to you. And that's the most unexpected thing of all. What you've been looking for is the most unexpected thing of all. Because every time you looked for it, you didn't get it. Well, this time you're getting it. Energy of two plus six is eight. What does that mean? Destiny. It didn't just have to do with you. It had to do with everything getting in alignment in order to bring this to you. Now you're going to, now it's, now it's, it's bam. It's there. It's time. Timing is right, Libra. Who is coming towards you? Who is this wonderful person? Well, that's in the link below. We're going to get into it. I hope you join me in the extended Libra because I'm curious. I'm a Libra rising, so I'm really curious. <laughs> For all of you who have stuck with me um, this far, thank you so much. For devoting an hour and 20, 25 minutes to, to, to Born Without Boundaries. I hope you, uh, I hope you join me for the extended because there's always great information over there. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.